So, you know, a lot of us martial artists, we want to smoke weed and be friends with people. And so we, we're, we're inclined to go out of our way to kind of hold our heads down and be calm and blend in. To be humble like Jesus and Bob Marley. But um, it depends on how we're treated. And so if you treat us fairly, we treat you fairly. You know, nobody wants war and, you know, just like American Civil War. At the end of the day, we have to work with the people that were taught our enemies in order to get the true view of God out. People need to come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter where the religion came from. And it's better to give people their credit. You know, imagine if somebody didn't give you your credit for what race you are. So when I see another silhouette in my bathroom curtain, it implies that my parents are allowing them to do it. And that... It could be either an Aztec or a Ikenga. There's a thin line between the two and an ink blot kind of silhouette. So it might be the behavioral analysis unit of the MPI or someone who thinks similar, perhaps at the Ford Foundation, since they're not far away. So yes, I think that it is designed to get me to make a video and to give my opinion, to see what my state of mind is, and then have a bunch of people who pretend they know how people like me think, with ulterior motives, and you know, special interest groups, consultation groups, um, secret societies, take kickbacks from Big Pharma, work for big corporations, um, with the government giving them the secret nod, and making superficial um, public uh, announcements to confuse you about what's going on and make it all seem like it's on the up and up. So yes, you know, there's that going on. They're trying to analyze my state of mind and understand if people like me. And I take Bruce Lee's side, I'm sorry, from the black people who think we should operate in darkness or from the light temple, Aryan, okay, Agulu, Sulu type of people, warriors, leopards, headhunters, apep killers, hardcat lovers. Horus uh, is their name for it. Haru, supporters, Asar, Aset, Heru. Um, and I, I thank all the African Americans for being um, some of the first people to introduce me to this when I was started, uh, starting my research. I believe Radio One um, and people like this. Uh, I apologize if you don't want me to use your name. Uh, you know, you know. So, here we go. Um, yes, so I think that what I, I believe my state of mind shows, if you ask me, but I guess the patient knows, doesn't know best after all, right? But I think it reflects the, the uncertainty of what's going on, um, what my belief system is, and the fact that I have, the fact that I, I consider that a possibility shows that there's a certain respect for Aztecs, and, and, and you know, and they have certain traits in common. And these are the things that I look for in people, the spirit of the people. I'm gonna end by saying this, the spirit of a people is best represented by the symbols they wear when they first meet the enemy army in battle or another group of people passing through, as you see in the Bible. And the spirit of the Jews was the spirit of the fighting spirit that God allowed them to have. He said, I am your God who took you out of Israel, right? Excuse me, took you out of Egypt. I am your God. I am the true God. I am a jealous God. Okay? And, and you stay true to me. And we'll smash on all those followers of other gods because I don't like them pretending that they're more important than I am and that's what the Judah guys did and some of them migrated uh, they... just briefly I want to show you this picture I want you to notice this guy right here this is you know my family picture doesn't this guy remind you of an Ethiopian or something right look at this person you see this I think these people are stupid people. I think evils are fools. Some of them are just kind of nice and smart, but are influenced by people like this, right? And people like her. Great, great person, great person. Great, respectable, royal, real African queen. You see, is she dressed like an American slut? No disrespect to any African Americans who don't want me to point this out. Or is she a real fucking queen? who doesn't want to be compared to a slut, okay? Do you understand why I will never give you the same amount of credit as someone like her? Hair, covers their hair with their African head wrap, you know?
the first sign that you're lusting for her, she would put you in check so fast, you wouldn't know what the fuck was happening. You know? Or something like that, you know what I mean? Okay? We are African Jews. Amos 9-7. What is he talking about? Who's he talking to? Are you not as the children of Is uh, Ethiopia unto? Oh, children of Israel? Ethiopia, he's saying that we are Jews. We are brothers. And that's why that guy looks like you. I, the female I dated has family members that look like that guy. And not just, not like other Africans either. Not like, I don't know, you know, but in the specific. You know, we are who I say we are. And I'm a prince. And we got to take on these, these snakes with every hawk on the planet. I'd like to show you a little bit of what is in here. You know, again, my family and I made a decision long ago that material stuff is not as important. So some of you say, well, it's not a good idea to show people these things. If you really want to steal them and make yourself feel like you won for a material thing, you know, I'm not going to kill you for it, but I get my point. So my mom took the cross out, put it upside down on the ground, which probably willingly, right? knowing I was talking to my brother about symbols and try to balance it with the feather. Now I'm returning the cross, trying to get it through her head that without Christianity, you cannot balance the feather. Jesus is the top martial artist from the light temple. You have to include his opinion. For the same reason, my opinion needs to be included. Well, not the exact same reason. So here you have a black angel here, kind of obscured. Okay, arcane African culture, right? And the, the colors right here, are they similar to the Igbo flag? The golden horse? Okay, she knows who she is, and she's proud of herself. Here you have a white looking angel, right? So there's no like, oh, you, you have those Russian things where you open them and there's inside, you know? You have Isis, the heart of Osiris. I, when I was explaining to my mother, I brought this down here. You have um, the African thing. Now let me show you something that goes gay. This is my cousin when he was younger. He looks different now, so I'm gonna show you this picture. Uh, he's a, you know, his father is a Jew, and his mother, you know, is related to the Templars and stuff. And, you know, she's my mom's sister. Okay, it's the only picture I'll show you there. This is a picture of I'm gonna cover my brother's face, my brother's girlfriend, uh, a long time ago, long time ago. Okay, that's like the best picture of my brother ever. Uh, my daughter's permission. I'm a man of God. Okay? I will never sell out. I will never fucking, you know, bow to evil. I represent the light temple, and I am a prince of light. On record, I have people that acknowledge that from the tribe of Judah. So you can do what you want, Rapture, but you've already lost. It's checkmate. Okay? Jesus is in the sky, and I'm just a piece on the board. The checkmate is already there. The top martial artist is, you know, is how you might describe it. The top divine war artist, Yeshua, Jesus of Bethlehem, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of Kings, the King of the Jews, the top martial artist, the Prince of Princes, the King of Kings. He has you bitches in check, and he's going to come back personally to see the look on your snake faces. Well, the ones of you who are around, that is, and the, the, to make sure your spirit dies. Because you've insulted God by calling his followers Bible thumpers and darky lovers, and you know, in a more obscene and offensive way, and things of this nature. You killed a lot of good white people. So you're just trying to reconnect with their African roots, and you have to pay for that as well. For those of you who are confused, my white brothers, I am Biafran and Christian, which means as part of my religion to take the white Christian side when they do things that are consistent with the will of God to fight by their side, either in America, as many of my brothers have in the various wars, or um, Nigeria or anywhere else. And I will resist the New World Order and their secret society structures that seek to destroy the true tale of God and those who are loyal and fought honorably as great warriors, training in the deserts of North 
East Africa and through the terrain of Israel with God in their heart opposing all devil darts as he talked about swords and being in accord and tunes and drums the golden calf became Apeth Son, Apis, Apep, Ap, an app, an application that comes from bull crap. Okay. I am a man of God, the Prince of Light, while they're just a frog. They could have changed if their brain wasn't so deranged. It needs to be rearranged naturally by God. Do you want to be forever a frog? Becoming a toad? Because you won't walk the higher path? You'd rather be on Rome's road? All those roads lead to Rome. The falcon, the hawk, the eagle are supposed to fly to my zone. My kingdom is not of this world. It's in the heavens. It's three sevens. It's airy. Agulu. The Zulu, the connections you miss. I told every one of you, Judah is the Afro-Asiatic fist. Before you get upset, aren't we all Afro-Asiatic? Isn't that where it starts? Sacred land, sacred heart, sacred bark. Are you a hawk or a snake? Are you a single woman that has hate and is fake? Or do you love the prince because you're wide awake? Okay, that's not entirely fair. But there's a reason women cover their hair. And they want to say I wear a dunce cap because I wear the white crown. Red and white, up and down, lower and up. They want you to be on a depressant. I want you on a natural upper. Because I'm a neck and I upper each it, motherfucker.